Greetings, Saberites. Anonymous here. A question that comes up a lot when we're talking about uh, people who are starting in into this whole thing that we got going is a uh, point of balance of a lightsaber. Where should we uh, have this balance? Now, um, there is a conventional wisdom that kind of goes out, <clears throat> goes around out there that says it should be balanced right at your hand or at the hilt. <clears throat> what that I think relates to is the fact that when you when when you hold it in that spot, um, if uh, if you balanced it at that spot, when you hold it there, it feels so so light because it's kind of just balancing on there. And if you find the balance point on any object and hold it at that spot, that's probably the best. And you hold it kind of vertically, it will it will feel the best to you as well. Um, the thing about the way we look at it and the way we're coming with it is because we're coming from conventional sword arts and all of that, um, a lot of the technique kind of dis depends on something we call blade presence. And that's the feeling that you get when you hold it out like this and you feel the blade kind of dipping down. And you get that by placing the point of balance up from the guard, right there. Now this is excellently balanced as far as I'm concerned. For me, I like about three to five inches away from the hilt. That's that's really, really nice and comfortable for me. Um, and right there, I can get kind of a good mix of blade presence and fluidity. I can, I can rotate around that point. I can change the, the characteristics of how this is kind of traveling through space. Um, around that point, and it's a place that I can kind of control. I can kind of extend my, my awareness out to there and use that point as an anchor or as a pivot point, whatever I want to do um, with it there. And when I'm swinging down, gravity helps my strike, right? Even when I'm swinging up, it's helping my strike because sometimes I'm coming around from here like this, but anytime I'm swinging something like this and I have the point of balance away from here, and even the point of rotation being my shoulder, that alone is creating that force. But having force up here and having a center of mass or a center point of balance up to, up to there creates um, a lot of force in the, in the outer edge of that lever. So <clears throat> I'm, I'm familiar with the exact physical terms or physics terms for that. <clears throat> Any hoot. Um, so rather than putting it at the hand or at the guard or right there, or like an inch there or anything like that, um, I like it about ideally about four inches there. This is pretty, pretty, pretty good. It's a lightsaber. So that is a set of uh, Padawan dueler from Solo's Hold. And uh, here is the Katana Saber for Darth Alice. And it's, if I, there we go. There, <clears throat> if I'm holding it, you'll see that's, that's about good, All right? Now, this is a little bit weightier, so this is closer to what an actual sword feels like. Uh, the length, too, of the blade. Now, you can change the point of balance pretty much um, any way you want. Um, a, a really good way, especially in the sabers, and an easy way, is to, is to shorten or lengthen the blade. Um, you can bring that point of balance away from the guard. You can bring it towards. And I'll do this as a caveat. There's no real ideal one spot for point of balance. It's generally a largely a point of preference, all of that. When we're dealing with kind of sparring weapons, when we have the point of balance right there, it sometimes feels faster. It doesn't necessarily translate to that because we, we, we may be you putting more energy into the weapon to get it to move rather than allowing gravity to kind of pull it through. Um, so, it's largely personal preference, but generally speaking, I do not recommend putting it 
very close to your hand, even though that will sometimes feel very, very comfortable. Um, but you'll notice too that sometimes when people uh, are just start spinning, they'll grab something like this at the end and do this. And the reason is, is because since that point of balance is way out there, they're now right here, they can get that mechanical advantage from the spin because as this comes around, it's just gonna naturally fall. I don't have to really put any force into it. So uh, that's something to, to keep in mind. Now, the point of balance in real weapons is largely a function of their blade shape and kind of what they're used for. Cutting weapons, ones that are meant to chop through stuff, they're gonna have point, points of balance that are gonna be further away because they want more force coming in to that cutting surface like that. Uh, thrusting weapons and weapons that are going to be more used for intricate little, little things are going to have a point of balance a little bit closer. Um, these are probably a pretty good approximations um, of where they would be in the scope. And they feel very, to, to my hand, they feel very realistic um, in that sense. Um, so this would be more of the kind of thrusting, rapier, short sword, small sword type of thing where you're dealing with something that's light, um, not specifically for cutting. And that's the, that's the big thing. With a lightsaber, it really doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> uh, the blade shape's pretty much the same. Everything is pretty much the same no matter how you do it. So um, point of balance really becomes part of uh, a, a personal preference for you. But that's our personal preference. Our personal preference, generally speaking, is to have it above and away from the hand a little bit so we get some good blade presence in, you know, in there. We can feel our techniques. We can kind of feel what's, what's happening through, through everything. Um, <clears throat> and that's also why we tend to use heavy grade blades a lot is because they, they give you definitely more presence. And sometimes having <laughs> zero blade presence is a little disconcerting because you can't really you don't really have a good sense of what's happening out there on the end. Anyway, so hopefully that wasn't too rambly, but uh, anyway, uh, hopefully that helps. Um, choose your, your, your point of balance uh, with these things. You can weight the, weight the pommel, shorten the blade, do all kinds of stuff to, to change the balance uh, on lightsabers so we're not so locked into it. So hopefully that helps. Have a great day and happy sabering.